everyone. Welcome to Dean's Amazing Zoo, where we create homes for all rescued animals. Hey, would you like to come inside? Well, come on in and meet the team. Luckily, there are some friends that will help them till the end. Here's Dean, he's the zookeeper. Josh, he rescues animals. Marie's the one that trains them. Dr. Nora heals them. Don't forget about Jessica and how she's always feeling. Dean's amazing zoo. It's fun. I just rescued a herd of African elephants, which have recently been added to the endangered list. I know this is a lot to take on, but do you have room for a whole herd of them? I will make room for these rescues, especially because we have the ability to help bring them off of being on that endangerment list. I will take all of them. You cannot split up the herd. How long do I have to get a new home ready for them and you arrive with them? It will take me a while. I will need several trucks, so about a week or two. Okay, great. That should give us enough time to create a home for them. I will let the team know we have a new family, I mean a uh, herd, of rescues coming to our zoo. Thanks, Josh. See you soon. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Okay, everyone, we have a herd of African elephants coming in. And we have a few things we need to get ready. Jessica, I need a big, big, big enclosure for them, since it is a big herd, so they will feel comfortable in their new home. I have the perfect idea for them. African elephants live in a diverse habitat, with wetlands, forest, grassland, savanna, and desert in Africa. We will create something that will feel like a natural habitat for them. Jessica, I would love to help you with this enclosure. I would love that. And you can tell me all about them so we can create an amazing place for them. Also, I will need some additional helpers because this will be our biggest project yet. Great, Marie. You will be helping Jessica with the construction of our newest and biggest enclosure yet. Nora, I will need you to check the health of them when they arrive, and Josh will be able to help you with anything you need. I will be looking for extra help for you, Jessica, and I will help you after. We will need a lot of land to level out and make trails for each different habitat area for them, so we can have a desert, forest, wetlands, grassland, and savanna areas for them. It will look like one big trail. They will love it. Okay, we can level out all the areas and start fresh. We can put a couple different types of trees and grass all over. Great, looks like planning is done. So let's start my favorite thing, which is building. Okay, wow, Dean was able to find us a lot of help. Welcome everyone, thank you all for helping. We need to work safely and fast to be ready for the big herd of African elephants. Let's start off this building project by singing my building song. Everyone, are you ready to sing with me? All right, everyone, sing along with me. Let's build a safe place where animals can live. Let's build their with Jessica and the team. It must be safe and fun so our friends feel like home. A place where they're comfy and they can call their own. With all their special needs, 
That was fun, everyone. Now, I will need everyone's help. We need to level out all of this area so we can make trails and plant lots of trees and grass. Plus, we have to dig several water holes for them to get water while they walk all around the trails. What type of machine do we need to level the ground out so we can start digging the holes for the water holes and trees? Is it a digger? A bulldozer? Or is it a crane? That's right, it is the bulldozer! Great, everyone. Now that we have the ground level, we will have plenty of room to dig the water holes and places to plant all the trees. What big machine do we need to dig a couple big holes? Is it a digger? Or is it a crane? That's right, it is the digger! We are almost done. Now, all we have left is lifting all these big trees and planting them. We have the last machine to use, everyone. What is the last machine, everyone? We already used the digger to dig the water holes and areas for the trees. And we already used the bulldozer to level out the areas for the water hole digs. So, what is the last machine? That is right, everyone. It is the crane. We need the crane to lift all these heavy big trees that will give the African elephants shade when walking in the forest area. Now everyone, we need to get everything ready for the herd of African elephants to move in. I need to fill up the big water holes Jessica made for them with water. And we need to place grass in the grassy areas of the grasslands. How is everything going? It looks great so far. I cannot wait to see how the herd likes their new home. Everything is going well. We just need a few more things and we will be ready. Great! I wonder how much longer until Josh arrives with the herd. Dean, come in. Go for Dean. Dean, Josh just arrived with the herd. Copy, Nora. I will be over shortly. Hi, Nora and Josh. How are they doing? Hi, Dean. Josh just arrived with them a few minutes ago be running some tests on them to make sure they are healthy. But there's a lot of them. Okay, do you need any help? Yes, Dean. I will need some help, plus Josh. Okay, I will send you some help. And Buddy and I will go back to help Jessica and Marie with the last little things to get their new home ready. Okay, great. Thanks. See you when I finish checking them. Okay, everyone, we need to check each one, one at a time. So, this may take a while, but I just want to make sure they are all healthy. How are we going to do this? I think I know what will help us make this go faster. A song. I will need everyone to help me and sing along. you fixed you'll feel better soon then you can run and join your friends take the medicine it will make you feel good rest take time to heal before you know you'll be like me when an animal is feeling down cause they're sick or hurt and sad doctor nora will care for
Great, everyone. The song worked. We only have one baby African elephant left. Okay, everyone. Let's check the little guy and see how he is doing. This little guy looks like he has a hurt leg with a cut and will need a bandage, medicine, and some vitamins. He did not seem like he was hurt because he was keeping up with the herd. I didn't see the cut. This little guy is a strong one keeping up with the others with that cut. Okay, everyone, we need three things to help get this baby elephant back to normal. And he can enjoy his new home with his herd. We have a bandage. Next, we have vitamins. Lastly, we have medicine. We need to fix his leg with the cut first. So, which one do we need first? That is right, everyone. It is the medicine. So, we took care of the cut on his leg with the medicine. What do we need to do next to make sure the medicine doesn't come off his cut? Is it vitamins? Or is it the bandage? That is right, everyone. We need the bandage to make sure the medicine doesn't come off. And we'll protect this cut from any infections. What is the last thing we need so he will be fully healthy and ready to go to his new home? That is right, everyone. We need to give him some vitamins. Okay, everyone, the baby elephant and his herd are all healthy and ready to go to their new home. Let's call Dean on the walkie-talkie and let him know they're all healthy and ready for their new home. Dean, come in. Go for Dean. The African herd are fully healthy and ready to go to their new home. Great news that they're all better and healthy. I will bring them over with Josh and the helpers. Copy. See you guys soon. Look, everyone. It's Nora and Josh. They brought our new herd of friends. They are so big. Fun facts, everyone. Did you know they have really big ears that they flap to cool themselves off? Their trunks have 40 to 150,000 muscles in them. With those big ears and a big trunk, they have a big head and brain that weighs hundreds of pounds. But with that big brain comes a great memory. Look, they are using the trails we made them. A few more fun facts, guys. When they travel, they walk at the same speed as the slowest elephant in their herd, so they can all walk together and be safe. That means if they have a baby elephant in their herd, they walk at baby speed to protect them. Well, great job, everyone. We were able to rescue a whole herd of African elephants that are on the endangered list today and give them a safe and nice home where they can be safe. Buddy, can you close the gate? Everyone, that is a job well done. We'll see what animal we are able to rescue next time, everyone. Please give this a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends and family, and leave any comments you have as this will help us keep producing content. To learn more about African elephants and other endangered animals, or help the wildlife, you can visit deansamazingzoo.com.